If the top six inches of soil is our most valuable resource, then water comes a close second. I'm in the Matilda Dibula irrigation area where at today's prices, a megalitre of water is worth $4,000. A major challenge facing farmers today is how do we utilise the free resource of rainfall on our farms. One of the best tools we have to ensure good infiltration is ground cover. In early October, John planted sun hemp, an annual legume, into an existing perennial pasture. A great season saw 835 mils of rain fall between October and March. In March, John ran the roller crimper over the pasture to reseed the sun hemp. We caught up with John to check in about his soil building process. Yeah, you can really see how far down that soil building's going there, John, hey? Yeah, no, it's looking good. Before I put this cover crop in, there was about this much of dark soil on top. Yeah. And I incorporated that in the soil, mixed it through the profile, and now in one year, it's gone to there. Yeah, because that wasn't even two inches last time we no. dug a hole here, eh? No. That's amazing. Yeah, that, 55 to 60, that's five centimetres. Yeah. If you get what I mean? Yeah, five. Ten. 15, and probably half that. So 17 and a half centimetres yeah. of topsoil now. Yeah. Basically you're, you've been planting annuals and perennials into an existing perennial pasture. Well th this is only one year of doing that. I think because there's a much below ground as is above ground. Yeah. You've got four metres of growth above ground and you've got a lot of stuff in the ground. Yeah, yeah. Plus, this pasture is looking really, really rich and nice, you know. The cattle should do really well on this because it's, um, it should have high um, protein. And you'd feel confident that any rainfall that you get this coming spring into the summer rainfall, which is your dominant rainfall time, that's going to go straight into the ground. Well, yeah, obviously it's going to be, the, the organic matter is going to make pathways for the, for the, for the water to infiltrate. Yeah. This block of concrete represents a metre squared of soil that has no ground cover. To explain this further, on our metre squared of soil, every one mil of rainfall represents a litre of water. So if that litre of water is falling on our metre squared and there's no infiltration, what we're going to see, as that hits that ground, it's just going to run right off and into the creeks and out into the ocean, taking our valuable topsoil with it. So here we have an example of a mixed species cover crop that has been planted and John has then come and cut the cover crop and then used that cover crop mulch back onto his cash crop. I've got ground cover of mulching on, on the pumpkins for weed control and I had to mow this because what was happening the pumpkins were getting on top and the, the roots weren't getting down to the ground. Yep. So I want them to go they root down as on the runners and they feed better. Yeah, those pumpkins are looking amazing, John. The colour of them. They're beautiful, yeah. And I don't know if I've seen a pumpkin leaf bigger than that one just there. Bigger than a dinner plate, wouldn't you say, John? Oh, yeah, much bigger. <laughs> I could get a pizza onto that. A pizza. See the, the mycelium, the fungi growing there in the soil? Evidence of life. Mm. Some more here. So That's the usual, nice. the usual white beach sand of Matilda is looking very dark, John. Yes, and this, well, that's the pumpkin root. It was way out of there. Well, you can see the dreadlock effect on that, where you, where the microbes um, gather around the roots so they can feed as the sugars are pumped out of the roots. They call it the Rastafarian root, did you know? No, Rasta who? Rastafarian root, the dreadlock effect. Get on your Rastas. <laughs> the take home message is to keep your soil covered at all times. It protects it from water and wind erosion and it is essential to maximise water infiltration. Be like John, our local soil builder, who is driving carbon into his soil through plant diversity and their living roots. Our lives depend on it, so keep it covered. Mm -hmm.